Good morning to all. Welcome to my class. Today we are discussing origin and development of statistics. The word statistics conveys a variety of meanings to people. Statistics has been defined differently by different statisticians from time to time. These definitions emphasize precisely the meaning, scope and limitations of the subject. The reason for such a variety definitions may be due to the field of utility of statistics has been increasing steadily. The word statistics has been used to give different meanings in singular and plural sense. According to Coxon and Cowden, Statistics may be defined as the science of collection, presentation and analysis and the interpretation of numerical data from the logical analysis. This definition is considered as the most scientific and realistic one. According to this definition, there are four stages. What are they? Collection of data, presentation of data, analysis of data and interpretation of data. Let's first consider collection of data. It is the first step and this is the foundation upon which the entire data set. Careful planning is essential before collecting the data. There are different methods of collection of data such as census, sampling. There are primary data, secondary data and the investigator should make use of correct method. Then presentation of data. The collected data may be presented in the form of tabular or diagrammatic or graphic form. Analysis of data. The data presented should be carefully analyzed for making inference from the Presented data such as measures of central tendencies, dis dispersion, correlation, regression, etc. Interpretation of data. The final step is drawing conclusion from the data collected. A valid conclusion must be drawn on the basis of analysis. A high degree of skill and experience is necessary for the interpretation. Every day, we come across the different types of quantitative information in newspapers, magazines, over radio, television and social medias. We would like to know that what these figures mean. This quantitative information or expression is called statistical data or statistics. The subject of statistics is not a new discipline. It is as old as the human society itself. Its origin can be traced to be the its origin can be traced to the olden days when it was regarded as the science of statecraft and it was the byproduct of the administrative activity of the state. The word statistics seems to have been derived from the Latin word status or the Italian word statista or the German word statistic, each of which means a political state. In ancient times, the government used to collect the information regarding the population and the property or wealth of the country. Regarding the population enabling the government to have an idea of the manpower of the country and the latter providing it a basis for introducing new taxes and levies. In India, an efficient system of collecting official and administrative statistics existed even more than 2000 years ago. In particular, during the reign of Chandragupta Maurya. From Kaudalya's Arthashastra, it is known that 
Even before 300 BC, a very good system of collecting vital statistics and the registration of births and death was in work. During Akbar's reign, Raja Tolerman, the Land and Revenue Minister maintained a good record of land and agricultural statistics. In Aini Akbari, written by Abul Fasil, one of the nine germs of Akbar, we find detailed accounts of the administrative and statistical surveys conducted during Akbar's reign. The theoretical development of the so-called modern statistics came during the mid-17th century with the introduction of theory of probability and theory of games and chance. The chief contributors being mathematicians and gamblers of France, Germany and England. The French mathematician Pascal after lengthy correspondence with another French mathematician, P. Fermat solved the famous problem of points posed by the gambler Chevalier de Marie. His study of the problem laid the foundation of the theory of probability, which is the backbone of the modern theory of statistics. Pascal also investigated the properties of the coefficients of binomial expansions and also invented mechanical computation machine. Other notable contributors in this field are James Bernoulli who wrote the first treatise on the theory of probability. D. Movi who also worked on probabilities and published his important work The Doctrine of Chance in 1718. Laplace, who published in 1782 his monumental work on the theory of probability. And Gauss, who gave the principle of least squares and normal law of errors. Later on, most of the prominent mathematicians of 18th, 19th and 20th centuries, Lagrange, Bayes, Markov, Kinjins, Kolmogorov, to mention only a few, have made very outstanding contributions to the modern theory of probability. Modern veterans in the development of the subjects are Englishmen. Francis Galton, with his work on regression, pioneered the use of statistical methods in the field of biometrics. Carl Pearson, the founder of the greatest statistical laboratory in England, is the pioneer in correlation analysis. His discovery of the chi-square test, the first and most important of modern tests of significance, won the statistics a place as science. In 1908, the discovery of statistics Sorry, in 1908, the discovery of student's T distribution by W.S. Gosset, who wrote under the pseudonym of student, assured in an era of exact sample test. R.A. Fisher, who applied statistics to a variety of diversified fields such as genetics, biometry, psychology, education, agriculture, etc., and he is rightly termed as the father of statistics. Captain John Grant of London, known as the father of vital statistics, was the first man to study the statistics of birth and death. Indian statisticians have also made notable contributions to the development of statistics in various diversified fields. The valuable contributions of PC Mahalanobis Mahalanobis discovered statistics and PV Suhatme, sample surveys, Asibos, Srivastava, design of experiments in agriculture, SN Roy, multivariate analysis, CR Rao, statistical inference, Parthasarathi, theory of probability, to mention only a few, how earned for India a high position in the world map of 
statistics. Here we have Prashant Chandra Mahalanobis, who, who is known as the father of Indian statistics. He devised a measure of comparison between two data sets that are now known as the Mahalanobis distance. His contribution to large scale surveys is huge. His birthday is known as National Statistics Day also. This is Professor C.R. Rao. This year we celebrate the birth centenary of Professor C.R. Rao who was born on 10th September 1920. He is known for Kramer Rao, Kramer Rao Lower Bound, Rao Blackwell Theorem, Orthogonal Arrays, Scores Test, etc. I hope you have got an idea about the origin and development of our discipline. For further clarification, please go through the Fundamentals of Mathematical Statistics by Isi Gupta and V.K. Kapoor. Thank you.